Hello everybody and welcome. Now ordinarily I would not do a review of a Mercedes, of an old Mercedes Roadster. However, there are two reasons why I am going to be driving this particular car. Now the first is that it is absolutely batshit crazy. It is from 2004, but it is the most powerful Roadster of the time. With 621 horsepower and over 1000 newton meters of torque. It is an absolute monster. The second reason is that in a few days, I'm going to be doing a review of a Ferrari 575M. Believe it or not, these two are actually sort of competitors at the time. First of all, the prices were pretty much the same, at about £150,000, but the Mercedes actually trumped the Ferrari in several areas. It has 100 more horsepower, has 424 newton meters extra of torque, which is just immense. I know that the original Roadster version of this wasn't really designed to be a sports car, but this is AMG tuned. Obviously it has that monster engine, but also the suspension. Um, so maybe it will be able to give the Ferrari a run for its money. Let's see what I think of it today. So you set off and it feels pretty much like any other SL apart from the V12. You can feel that the V12 is something a bit special by the sound it's making. But apart from that, it's pretty standard. Now this series of Merc SL, the 230, is along a venerable line. Um, the 107 series was a car that I owned as well uh, some time ago and it's one of my most hated cars and I've actually done a video on that. Uh, maybe I was slightly unfair, but in terms of what I like in a car, that had nothing and everything that I hated. But it was extremely successful in terms of sales because it stayed on from 71 when it came out to 1971 to 1989 when the 129 series came out, which is much more like this and was, uh, you know, a real step forward. This was the 230 series came out after that. But anyway, as I said, it's a supremely comfortable, fantastic, and it's a great cruiser, and it just feels like a pretty normal car apart from the noise there. Now I have it in um, sport mode uh, for the suspension and for the gear change, and so far, nice place to be. Little corner, and then let's give the accelerator a quick squeeze on the straight here, once we get past a bit of traffic. <laughs> uh, wow, that is utterly bonkers. Whoa. Turns in really well. Um, I mean, the steering is light. There's sort of enough feel to know what's going on, but that's certainly not great. It, it's, it's quick enough, um, but my God, that engine. It really is. That, that's just, honestly, that is just breathtaking. <laughs> the acceleration is nuts. Now, they're renowned for being massively tail happy as well, these. Um, basically, they don't, they don't have a lot of traction, so I think they were criticised a lot at the time. It handles sort of tidily. It's, um, you know, it's no scalpel. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a cruiser base. I think AMG, this has specific AMG suspension which they came up for these and I think it does as well as it can to keep it in check but honestly I imagine this has got to be one of the fastest accelerating things I've ever been in certainly for the weight and um, this is 1900 kilos so it weighs uh, 100 kilos more than the 575m that I'm going to be trying um, but it's a it's a pretty awe-inspiring bit of kit. I'm not quite sure what quite what the point of it is. I mean, it's just like a sledgehammer, um, but you can't really exploit it because there's so little traction at the back. Of course, it also has a mechanical limited slip diff, but um, I will not be experiencing that today. Uh, I'm not brave enough. The brakes are also absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it, 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 it's like get, it's like going into a wall. 
and they were specific to this car as well they are composite discs so they're not normal discs and um, they are amazing I find them a bit grabby but there's no denying <laughs> there's no denying how good how effective they are anyway obviously this is an auto and it does have a manual mode but I have to tell you there's some little toggle switches behind the steering wheel I have never experienced anything that feels quite as crappy as that it is absolutely they are completely at odds with the rest of the car worse than an afterthought they are just terrible the feel the action everything is hideous what an absolutely crazy ridiculous pointless machine but you know I'm glad I've driven it because it is just something else I am quite in awe of it to be quite honest um, I mean it's not all positive but it's not all bad certainly and the thing is yeah you could get your jollies by just putting your foot down and then after that you can just start cruising around and um, God, no other car is going to do that quite as well as this this utterly nuts six cylinder six cylinder this utterly nuts six litre twin turbo v12 amg sl65 if you feel mad enough it is for sale at philip raby um it's up for i think forty-two thousand pounds and it has uh, i think fifty thousand odd miles seems to be in i haven't examined it in depth but it looks like really really good condition to me um pretty much like new uh, mostly um so if you're interested go and have a look on the website i'll put the link up now uh and um and see what you think uh absolutely utterly crazy car